What's up, this is GM, and before I start, I want to tell you about TubeBuddy. In case you don't know, TubeBuddy is a free website that will help you manage and grow your YouTube channel. Thanks to them, some of my videos even show up as top results. Want to give them a try? Check the description below for the link. Today's product is Gold Orange's Red Tree Oil Painting. So inside the box we have the three panels which currently have stacked up and I'll unstack in a bit. But the other thing we have is a little toolkit to help you go ahead and set this up. That way you don't have to go out and get anything yourself to hang these up as soon as you get them. So I'm going to go over two things, the quality of the painting and the kit for hanging it up. I like the pictures and I like how they shipped it. So this might not mean too much to some people but for me I think it's kind of important that they did it this way. So I took it out of the box just now and as you can see they have it stacked like this. So that way when you're pulling it out you can be sure that you don't accidentally puncture through the painting trying to put your hand through. Same with also just shipping purposes. If let's say the box was to get damaged on the way, this would kind of help prevent possibly the painting getting hit through since there is about a good maybe one inch on each side where it goes through. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn these over, show you what it looks like. All right, so here we have the three pieces themselves. So I'm gonna move it over just a bit. Unfortunately, my ring light is showing a little bit of a glare, but hopefully, you know what? Let me see if it's too dark with it off. Eh, it's pretty dark with it off. Let's see if I can fix the lighting just a bit. All right, we'll just go with that, because you can still see pretty much the entire painting just fine. So like I said, I'm gonna go over the quality and the kit itself. Generally, when I put up a painting like this, I would put one inch of space in between each panel. So it'd be spaced out something along the lines of that. Um, I do have two other panel paintings such as these that are just oil paintings. Um, and I do pretty much an inch for, I did it, oh, well, I did do an inch for all of those. And personally, that's how I like to do it because the point of the panel is so that you can put spacing in between. It makes the whole thing look kind of bigger than it really is, which is kind of nice because then you're kind of saving money on the actual print itself. So let's go over the quality real quick. So I, like I said, I bought a lot of paintings such as these. The texture on this is very nice. It uh, usually feels really nice. You don't want to really touch it too much though. Just to be safe, you don't want to maybe accidentally get your oil, the oils that are on your finger onto the painting, which is why I actually left on the plastic wrap as I'm doing this. However, I can feel the texture of the painting through the plastic wrap. And just like all my other ones, it feels exactly the same, which means it is a higher quality type of panel. It, the material is really good. Um, these are hand painted as well. so. Mine might not look exactly like yours. Mine might not have, or mine has like these little speckles down here that are, let's say this one right here and then these two here. Yours might not look like that pretty much since they are all hand painted which makes them slightly more unique each time. As for the kit, I'm gonna go ahead and take out over here. So it did, came, it did come in a nice little box. Came with some gloves to put on. Let me see, it feels like there's something inside of it as well. Oh, yep. And inside we have the nails, the little um, level, all that good stuff. Be careful while handling that, of course. And then we have a pencil as well and a ruler. So I'm going to go ahead and take out the ruler real quick. See how long it is. Oh, wow, this ruler really extends out. So let's see, it starts at zero inches and goes all the way up to 63 inches. And then for the centimeters, for those who need to know, it goes from zero centimeters to 160 centimeters. So that's a lot of uh, measuring tape right there for you if you need it. Personally, all I would need is about seven inches. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go through how I would do this. So um, I would like to say this kit is very well equipped. Like I said, it does come with everything you need, especially the level. You're gonna need that level if you're gonna be putting spaces in between these panels. So let me go ahead and move some of this stuff out of the way real quick so that way I can go ahead and show you what I would do. 
So I'm going to move these panels to the side as well. Oh, actually before I do that, let me show you the back real quick. So, up here, you can see it has the little hook. And that's pretty much going to make sure that you can just, as soon as you put a nail in, you just put this painting onto that hook, or onto that nail, through that hook, it will be good. And it has a little groove so you can, it won't slide around. It will help keep it stable whenever you're using it. So yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and move this. Alright, so like I said, generally I put one inch of space between each panel, but that's up to your own preference. But for this video, we're going to go over how to do it with one inch of space. So real quick, I already went over the dimensions for this panel in my review under two video, which will, is in the description below. So if you need uh, any more specs on these paintings, you can check that out. But the main thing you need to know is that it is 12 inches wide. So from up there to this corner, or from this corner to this corner, that's 12 inches wide. So that means the center of this should be about six inches. So I'll just go and measure and check just to be sure. So right about there, yeah, give or take, um, the very center is gonna be slightly off. So for six inches, it's gonna be the very start of that. And then from this beginning of the hook over to the end is another six inches. So the very center of this isn't six inches, so you wanna make sure that you're doing this very carefully as you're planning this out. So what I would generally do is, I'd put the middle panel in first, I'd nail it in first, and then I'd measure out pretty much from that dead center of that painting, six inches to one side, and add one more inch, so seven inches, and that would be where the next panel starts. So let's say I put in the middle panel like so. This is the center, of course, you just measure it out to be sure that you're at six inches. So right here, so that's the middle of the panel. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over one more inch, you're gonna mark it with a pencil. Then from there, you're gonna go over another six inches, mark it with a pencil. And that's gonna tell you where the middle of this painting, this next panel, should go. So now that you've done that, I would pretty much, oh, and also, sorry, this is with a one inch space in between. So that's why pretty much from the middle of one to the middle of the other is actually 13 inches, not 12 inches, because of that one extra inch of space. So you wanna make sure you have your level with you at all times when you're doing this, because as you can see, the hook obviously isn't at the very top of this. It's, there is a little bit of a um, gap right there, a little bit of the frame that's gonna be messing with that a bit. So once you measure over, you're gonna to wanna to measure down as well. So for this, it's gonna be a little bit closer to, my bad, wrong side of this. It's going to be about one inch for me, so one inch and uh, about a third, one, one and a third inch from about the beginning of the grooves up to the top. Of course, this will vary, but what you want to make sure is as you're going across from here to here, you want to make sure you're leveling, you put the level right above, and that will make sure that you're going as in a straight line, so that way these will be at the very same heights for all three. Then what you're going to do is once you get to this point, uh, the 13 inches from the center of that once you get 13 inches over make sure that's level You're gonna want to go about one and one third inch depending on your frame You're gonna want to measure it of course one and one third inch down and you want to use oh My bad hold on I think my light just died So I'll just turn the ring light back on for now, but pretty much You're gonna want to make sure you go down then and keep the level uh, keep it as straight as possible, mark that spot, then you put the nail in for that as well, and then you just repeat those steps on the other side. Personally, I like how this painting looks as well, so that's pretty much all the quality information you need to know about it, and all of the instructions for how to set it up. Of course, different people have different ways of doing it. Personally, that's my way of doing it. Um, I've done it for two other paintings, as I've mentioned, and I'll probably do it for this one as well. Uh, of course, I'm sure people have much better ways of doing this. If you do, I suggest you put in the comments below, help someone out. But yeah, like I said, I own two others. It really, these types of paintings really make the room pop, in my opinion. And I really like this one because it's not too many colors. It's just a red, white, somewhat of a grayish, kind of muddy gray with a, you could say steel gray top. 
it's just kind of overall it's kind of simple yet it looks really nice the red tree overall just looks really nice the paint it, it was painted really well even though it is so simple it just looks nice the frame is good quality color just there is no color distortion to this picture which i really like as well all right everyone that's it for this video i hope you found it helpful if you did please like and subscribe link to this product is in the description below be sure to check out tubebuddy below as well thanks for watching